And we are live. Today we're going to do another Climber Skies Limit uh, video. Um, this time I'm going to go ahead and jump into Mount Everest. This is the uh, first time I'm doing it. Just the proof here. We're going to see how we do. Um, that actually... That's actually giving me pause for difficulty. I think everything up until now has been like easy or level three stars or whatever. What the hell is going on here? What's this about? Hang on. I gotta, I gotta do some thinky think. Uh, let's see. Ice area. Snow covered crevice. I love those. Um, chasms, more ice areas. Okay, so probably want four of them. I can't believe there's four camps. Holy shiznit. All right, from what I know about Everest, I know you go up this way, and then there's this, uh, I know you have to do this. It's, it's kind of like a horseshoe sort of hike, and right here is apparently a massive glacier with a bunch of stones. So, but ice, I don't know, I'm, hmm. Road fixing. Interesting. Wow, this is actually looking kind of intimidating. Um, Alright. Um, I'm actually curious what the leaderboards say. With oxygen, three days. Without oxygen, one day. Huh. All right. Um, well, just to be on the safe side, I guess I'm going to go with this setup uh, for maximum uh, temperature. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to try to kind of. I'm going to try to kind of rush it, but also at the same time. Yeah, that's the lightest weight. It's not that cold, I remember. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because it is a lot of days. I'm gonna do. Honestly, I'm gonna do. Just in case mental condition deteriorates. There we go. Lightest weight stuff I can do. Do three of these. I'm gonna do. Actually, that's a shit ton of ice. So I'm gonna do a few screws. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna do a few of these snow pickets. Um, a couple ropes, some bats, oxygen, and snow sticks. And I basically used up my entire fortune. Good God. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I'm a little intimidated because I was not honestly expecting this to look like it was going to actually be hard. Um... I think I'm going to actually need these from what I was looking at with the map. Um, what else? Obviously, Shinji needs uh, his blood sugar foodsies. <laughs> there we go. Throw that chaw. Yeah. Got some barking dogs outside. I'm about to beat. All right, let's see here. Okay, um, let's just dive right in. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what to expect. I was I was thinking this is gonna be a pretty generic climb because you know everybody friggin' does it. Uh, okay, that's the direction I need to go. I get the feeling there's a lot more to this than meets the eyes 
how many different directions can I veer off in? Alright. Um, so here's Camp 1, huh? This is not what I imagined Camp 1 would look like. Every time I've seen pictures of Everest Base Camp, it looked a lot different. Oh, uh, there we go. Make sure you guys can hear the ambiance. At least my fear of heights doesn't exactly react that much anymore. It's hard to get used to. Whoa, holy... Okay. Aside from the obvious graphic glitches, uh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> uh, well, okay then. I guess that was the... Oh, that's going to put me back. Those were the snow... snow shelves. Oh, fudge. That is not bueno. Not bueno at all. Well done, Shinji. Well done. Uh, I'm starting to reconsider. Good God, I can't believe it's already snowing. Uh, this is not good. Alright, it's about to let off, though, so it should be fine. Okay, so Everest is not playing. Um, severely janked up this uh, approach now because of my clumsiness. Oh boy. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Factoid! Do you know that? Everest is the highest mountain in the world measures 8,848 meters above sea level. The height of the mountain is not constant as a result of the rubbing of the tectonic plates. The Himalayas are being pushed upwards. Accordingly, Everest grows by about half a centimeter annually. Currently, it is about 50 centimeters higher than when it was first conquered by the first by Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay in 1953. I actually did not know that. That's cool as crap. I mean, I, I knew it, but you know, it's like, I didn't appreciate the fact that it was growing that fast. That's interesting, actually. Well, at least this fall here wouldn't kill you. I could probably, Shinji could probably do a running jump, but you know. Shinji's got a lot on his plate, too. I'm also keeping an eye out for any more of those snow crevasses. It's all fun and game until all fun and games until the ground uh, explodes beneath your feet. And that's not great. I was hoping I'd be at the next base camp by now. Shinji out pointlessly. Yeah, it's, it's getting kind of pointless. Alright, um. Well, I hope there's not a lot of this. Shinji, that was cruel and unusual. Also noted for the future. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to be completing this in any record amount of time. Bruh, you just walked in. Okay. Um, okay. 
Whoa, that is that crevice right there is not playing. First off, I need to pick this up. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, that's a nice one over here. Oh, dude, you are killing me. Yeah, Everest is not playing. Okay. I clearly did not find the cheese it method this time. Unfortunate, but uh, looks like old Shinji needs to rest. <sighs> and I will not be completing this one anytime within a competitive timeline. Ugh. Shinji, here you go. I'm really not liking the idea of trying to continue on the wind. Uh, I'll lose most of the day. Good God. Well, this is the best I'm going to get, I think. Still cold as balls outside. Let's get old Shinji. Uh, <laughs> Do you know that? Everest was first conquered on May 29, 1953 by Eben Hillary, New Zealand, and Tenzing, Norway, Nepal. It was in the summer season. Only 27 years later, on February 17, 1980, Polish, Polish climbers Leszek Sici and Krzysztof Wielki were the first climbers in history to reach the highest peak in the world winter. 
It was then a breakthrough exhibition in the history of global Himalayan mountaineering. During, these, during this expedition, the 8,000ers were conquered for the first time in winter, which opened a new front for mountaineering activities. Winter expeditions to the highest mountains in the world. So it literally all started here. I did not know that. Alrighty, let's see. Climb the rock, Shinji! this and get up here and this unfortunately is not going to be the award winning run. <laughs> Alright. Next time it is, it's gonna be cheaper, I think. It looks like, of course, I don't know how, to, how much longer I got to go, but I am at 26,000 feet, so I can't be that much longer before I'm gonna end up breaking off and doing something else. I think I'm getting close to, I'm not, I don't think I'm there yet, but I'm getting close to the 8,000 meter mark. I didn't expect this. Shinji, Shinji. 
Well, at least I still got plenty of candy bars for old Shinji. The biggest thing I was worried about was some freezing to death. Night's approaching. <laughs> there is a factoid, and I want to know what it says. Do you know that? Hillary's Step is a 12 meter ridge near the summit of Mount Everest. For climbers trying to conquer the highest mountain in the world, this was the last great challenge. It was named after Sir Evan Hillary, who first measured it in 1953. According to current reports, in 2016, the rock formation collapsed, simplifying the way to the top. Don't fall, shit. Um, so I can get rid of this. I can put this here. You know. the best, but it is a win. And next time I will figure out a better version of that. Okay. And that is me struggling through Mount Everest. <laughs> next time, I, next time I'll throw up a video where I do it perfectly. And I still have got to do the one for Gasher. Once I do that, I'll probably combine both of them. One for Gashabram and Mount Everest. But uh, for uh, now at least, now at least we've got Mount Everest done. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna actually cut it off here. This is a short stream day. And I'll pick it up next time. Later.